Hello techies. In this tutorial, we will learn about different types of accounts which we are going to use to work with Microsoft Power Automate Desktop. To work with Microsoft Power Automate Desktop, we required any one of the account among these three accounts. One is Microsoft account, second one work or school account, third one organization premium account. Before going to learn about these accounts, first we will learn what is Microsoft Dataverse. In simple words, Dataverse is a secure place to store and manage data that used by business applications. Data within Dataverse is stored within a set of tables. A table is a set of rows and columns. Rows formally referred to as records, whereas columns formally referred to as field and attributes. Each column in the table is designed to store certain type of data. For an example, name, age, salary, and so on. Dataverse includes a base set of standard tables that cover typical scenarios, but you can also create custom tables specific to your organization and populate them with data by using Power Query. All right, now we will learn what is Microsoft account. A Microsoft account provides authentication and authorization to Microsoft consumer services. It also referred to as personal account. A Microsoft account can be used to sign in into Outlook.com, Office subscription, Skype, OneDrive, Xbox Live, Bing, Microsoft Store, Windows, and MSN. This Microsoft account can be created by ourselves also. By using Microsoft account, we can log in into the Power Automate desktop with Microsoft account and the Power Automate desktop is available at no additional cost. We can build the flows with Power Automate desktop using Microsoft account are stored automatically on users OneDrive. Now we'll see what is worker school account. A work or school account is created by an organization using a business service that has Azure Active Directory as the authentication and authorization platform. This includes business plan for Microsoft 365, including Outlook Web Access and OneDrive for business, Microsoft Intune and Windows 10 devices that are connected across your organization's Azure Active Directory domain, as well as Microsoft Azure resources. If the company has a business Office 365 account, then the company can buy licenses for the Office programs such as Word, Excel, Outlook, etc. and associate the license with each user's Microsoft Work account. The Office program license are included in some business Office 365 plans such as Office 365 Business Premium, Office 365 Enterprise E3 and E5, or you can purchase on their own also. These kind of accounts, that is worker school accounts, can be created by the IT department. By using worker school account, we can create Power Automate desktop flows with no additional cost. To use Power Automate desktop, you, your default environment must contain a Dataverse database. Now, we'll see what are organization accounts. Organizations are shared accounts where group of people can collaborate across many projects at once. Owners and administrators can manage members' access to the organization data and projects with sophisticated security and administrative features. To unlock additional RPA features, such as running flows automatically, premium cloud connectors and flow sharing and monitoring, we required organization accounts. All right, I hope you understand about these three accounts such as Microsoft account or personal account, work or school account and organization account on theoretically. Now I will show you practically how to log in and what are the features that are available with these three different accounts. All right, now let me switch to the browser. Now I'm going to use flow.microsoft.com. Once we have logged in successfully, if you see 
this account i have logged it with my personal account or microsoft account now if you go for the my flows over here there you can see i'm having cloud flows desktop flows business process flows unshared with me now if you go for the desktop flows you can go ahead and you can create a desktop flows for no additional cost this is in preview state right now right but if you observe right now that i have opened my flow.microsoft.com with my personal account right so that it is very difficult over here to manage the desktop flows over here if you see i'm going to open power out my desktop i have created n number of flows with my personal account now i have already logged into the power automate desktop if you see over here i'm having power automate which is a cloud and over here you can see power automate desktop which is the desktop application to create the flows over here now i have already created n number of flows by using power automate desktop but all the flows will not be available over here the reason is that i'm going to use my personal account so that all the flows will be available in one drive all right now this is one of the major difference for the personal account or the microsoft account to other accounts such as worker school account or organization premium account all right now to make you understand i'm going to open a one more tab now i have logged in into flow.microsoft.com and i am using my worker school account over here if you see this is my worker school account or organization account where if you see when i click on my flows over here and then if you go for the desktop flows over here there you can see the flows are available in the desktop flows because i'm using the account worker school account with organization premium cost i have upgraded to organization premium account so that we can see the flows over here all right now to make you understand this is my personal right so that i'm going to switch to another account now if you observe over here i have logged in into the power automate desktop by using my worker school account or with the organization premium account now if you observe over here i'm having one flow which it is going to be stored in the microsoft dataverse that's why you can see the flows under the desktop flows tab over here which i have created from my power automate desktop lot of students are getting confused about this desktop flows so the reason is that maybe you are using personal or microsoft account whereas the flows will not be available in the desktop flows inside the flow.microsoft.com if you are going to use worker school account in that case that the flows will be available in the desktop flows whereas it will be stored in the microsoft dataverse all right i hope you understand the differences in the perspective of desktop flows where the flows are getting stored and how we can go ahead and we can manage the flows by using dataverse now we'll compare between the accounts what are the differences that we have with the different with the, these three accounts i will let you know over here the first one is the storage if you see for the microsoft account or personal account the flows will be stored in the one drive personal account whereas for the worker school account the flows will be stored in the dataverse of default environment and if you go for the organization premium account flows will be stored in the dataverse across the environments right wherever you are going to create a flow in the particular environment the flows will be stored in the dataverse all right now i am having the another features such as such as accessible record easy to use designer robust browser pre built actions access to new actions exception handling all these features will be available across the accounts such as we can use this accessible record in the microsoft account as well as worker school account organization premium accounts across these three accounts you can use all these features such as accessible recorder easy to use designer robust browser supporter pre built actions access to new actions and exception handling all these features are available across the microsoft accounts 
as well as worker school accounts as well as organization premium accounts but there are some of the features are not available across the accounts which are they if you see right now the connectivity with the cloud flows which is not available in the microsoft account as well as the worker school account until unless this account worker school account is going to upgrade it to the premium account till that time you don't find the flows in with the connect with the cloud flows data or storage we don't have my in the microsoft account we don't have it whereas worker school account also we don't have data or storage only we are having it for the organization premium account along with that you can share and collaborate the flows with the microsoft account as well as the worker school account it is possible only with organization premium account whereas centralized management and reporting and additional capabilities like triggering and scheduling the flows which are not available in the microsoft account as well as worker school account these features that is data or storage sharing and collaboration centralized management and reporting connectivity with the cloud flows all these features are available only with the organization premium account all right i hope you understand what are the different accounts that we are having in the power automate desktop and how to work with these accounts by using power automate desktop as well as power automate thank you for watching power automate tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a wonderful day